Hi everyone, my name is Giselle. I am Jennifer Estoras. I am Bebe Jill. And I am May Ann. And we're doing a report on anthropological perspectives on the self. For our definition of terms, first we have anthropology. What is anthropology? Anthropology comes from the Greek word anthropos, which means human, and logos means study. It also a study of past and present and focuses on understanding in human condition in its cultural aspects. On the other hand, anthropologists are a group of people who study individual and how we change over time, how our culture evolved and basically how it develops and how it changed from previous generation up to present. Anthropology is a scientific study of humanity, concerned with human behavior, human biology, cultures, societies and linguistics in both present and past, including past human species. Anthropological perspectives focuses on the study of the full scope of human diversity and the application of that knowledge to help people of different backgrounds. And anthropological perspectives of the self is considered the genetic and cultural origins of self, the role that self plays in socialization and language and types of self we generate in our individual journeys through adulthood. We rely on others to tell us about ourselves and even let us know what we truly are. Now, when we say anthropology, it has four sub-disciplines, namely we have cultural, archaeological, biological, and linguistics. But we will have first the cultural, the cultural anthropology. It is a study how people who share common cultural system organize and shape the physical and social world around them. The examples are norms or values, languages we use, Festivals we celebrate, like Sinolog Festival and honoring our patron Santo Nino of Cebu. Rituals and ceremony, holidays like New Year and Christmas, and the food we eat like the Pride of Cebu, the Crispy Lechon. Next, we have Archaeological. It is the study of social cultural behavior in the proto historic and prehistoric past. It is also deals with such remains from past societies, such as tools, shelters, remains of plants and animals eaten as food, and other objects that have survived. For example, campsites, caves, past, settlements, monuments, workplaces, and farms. Then, we have biological. The study of human biological variation and evolution. For an instance, biological anthropologists often look at the biology human remains. Lastly, we have linguistics. Closely studies those societies where language defines a culture or society. For example, studying English language. Another example, a student from Manila came here to Cebu in order to adapt our language culture. Moreover, anthropology has something to do with its perspective self and self in culture. We have first the perspective is a particular attitude toward or way of regarding something, a point of view. That we have the self according to Catherine Ewing in 1990 
Self encompasses the physical organism, all aspects of the psychological functioning and social attributes. Self can be also be separated, independent, utinary, self containing, consistent, and viable. Example of separated, I saw all, the, all these people's homeless is usually a symptoms of a sick society rather than a separated self containing social of this own. Second example is independent. With the people is concerning or thinking about themselves is an independent way. They are likely to think first and foremost about the personality traits. Next example is utinary. The motion of self refers to the person experience as a single utinary. Third example. Next example is self-contained. Is a person totally contained in, in her own. Next example is a consistent. A person had a consistent in life. Next example is private. Some people like a private life. They are also two aspects of self. These are in explicit and implicit. Explicit is clearly stated that there is no room for confusion or question. However, implicit is that implied or suggested but not clearly stated. Example of explicit is someone giving very straightforward direction to a location. Implicit is when your life can see you directly looks when you drop your sock on the floor. Lastly, we have self and culture how I define how individuals see themselves and how they related to others. A family cultural value shape and development of each child self concept culture and shape how we each see ourselves and others moving forward according to Catherine ref of 2010 the culture influenced how you view so what do you think are those influences do you have an idea Let's see. First is the relationship. Relationship and how we differ our culture in terms of courtship in our relationship. There are other people in their culture that they don't have the right to choose who are they going to marry. For short, their family will arrange their marriage to others from some reasons. Next is personality traits. For an instance, before and after we leave our house, we need to kiss or mano our parents and elders as a sign of respect. But in other countries, they didn't apply that trait. Then we have the achievements. For example, taking an exam. Other people, when they got 98 over 100, they already feel that they're stupid and that makes them feel disappointed in themselves. But there's also a lot of people when they got a passing score, they're already happy and contented by it. And I think that comes from our family culture because there are parents who doesn't pressure their children much on getting high grades. And there are also parents who keeps on reminding their children or child to aim high and get high grades. Lastly, we have expressing emotions. Others didn't want to express what they truly feel and there are also people who are very transparent to everything they feel. And it likewise influenced by our family culture. There are family that if you felt tired, you don't have the right to show to them that you are tired. There are also family that they are really open of what they are feeling for each other. 
And in that alone, we can see the different varieties or different ways on how our parents raise us and eventually we became a different individual staying in the same world. We have four keys of anthropological perspectives. These are holism, comparison, cultural relativism, and ethnographic fieldwork. What is holism? Holism is relating to the idea that things should be studied as whole and not just as a sum of their parts. Example, to understand a Japanese tea ceremony. Anthropologists might investigate Japanese religion, aesthetics and history, as well as the economy, social relations, and the politics of gender. Next, we have comparison, also called as comparative perspective, is based on the idea that a society or a social system cannot be fully understood without comparing it with other societies or systems. Example, Comparison is an indispensable technique of analytic scholarship. No analytic statement about empirical observation can be made without at least one comparison providing the contrast that permits either inductive generalization or deductive proof. Comparison is used for these purposes in all disciplines, but not always in the same way or for the same reasons. Then we have cultural relativism. It is the ability to understand a culture on its own terms and not to make judgments using the standards of one's own culture. Its example is the Nazi party's point of view justifying the Holocaust. Lastly, we have ethnographic fieldwork. Ethnographic fieldwork is how anthropologists gather data. Its examples is participant observation, reflexivity, understanding groups' beliefs and practices within their own cultural context without making judgments. Now, what are the importance of um, anthropological perspectives? Number one, it provides the possibility to study every aspect of human existence. For example, students learn about human difference in all its biological, historical, cultural, and linguistic complications. Students will learn to suspend judgment, seek evidence, understand change, compare and contrast information, and learn how to make connections. And the second is, provides the answer to our questions about our selves, our past, present, and future. And the single most important contribution is the concept of culture, the mosaic of a group's learned and shared or at least understood beliefs, practices, and modes of expression. Also, anthropologists compare how people live in different societies at different times and places and come, come up with theories about why people behave, why people behave in particular ways. Word knowledge of others' cultural skills in observation and analysis, critical thinking, clear communication, and active problem solving. A number of anthropology encounters us to extend our perspective behind familiar social context to how view things from the perspective of others. Once again, this is Joselle Monterdy Cashew. And this is Jennifer Estores. Once again, guys, I'm Vivi Jilbilda. This is me and P. Devon. And, and we, we are the reporters of Anthropological Perspectives. Perspective. Thank you.